Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? How are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredients. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what today I'm going to bring to you? Today, the topic is called How Do Professionals Learn? The research and findings was done by Mott in 2000. So, um, for professionals learn to study through uh, apprenticeships and two experiences, both by expanding their uh, comprehensions of uh, formal disciplines and by finding new ways. So to use them to achieve the aims constantly, they move forward and backward from theories to practice so that each enriches the other. Mock study has um, helped us to distinguish the stages. So most stages through professional studies. Here, I'm, for example, I use the teacher education. The teacher education and move the professional study, the stages, is moving from general education, which includes the content specification. Here is, of course, teacher education. And then through the pre-service education, and then to the, through the certificate of competence, and finally, Continuing education here include master study or um, PhD or continue to do the vocational education etc. If you want any awesome advices and suggestions, please uh, book me through by mis uh, leaving your message down in the comment below and I will give you some awesome and insights into what you need in your professions and your workplace or organization. Stay tuned. Okay, now continue the topic. Most suggest that there are three models for professional learning. What are they? Interesting. Okay, the first one is mental scheme models. The second one is skill acquisition model. The third one is Sean's reflective uh, professional model. Okay, I'm going to go through each one of them. Number one. Mental scheme model. Oh, it sounds very complicated, isn't it? What do you mean by, by mental scheme model? Mental scheme model means the mental activities involve the, uh, the processes such as active learning, constructive learning, and goal-oriented process. So the new information that you have received coming through in, um, in through the familiar scheme present in the information sector and then they're cognitively constructed through the declarative knowledge, the procedural knowledge and the information processing. These are the cognitive classification of knowledge which will be my topic in the future. Stay tuned. Okay. Now back to the topic again. So then finally the new information acquired um, is become new meaning. So the new info, which means that the new information entering in becomes a new meaning in the whole context of whole and whole learning process. Okay. Second, skill acquisition model. Oh, another complex one. What do you mean by that? So in this model, uh, Mood is trying to explain the progression from novice. Novice means new learner. Novice to expert. So the novice is increasing his or her position and intuitive recognition system uh, within the practical situation, rather the action based on road learning. So as uh, prof uh, professionals, I mean practitioners progress through the stages of skill acquisition, there is a decrease in rule guided behavior. Also, there is decrease in the idea of the holistics of knowing how. And actually, the learning from experience enables the professionals to think more deeply about the current situation and therefore more understanding is achieved in this way. Okay, easy. Number three is show reflective practitioner model. What do you mean by that? Another complicated one. Okay, wait, I tell you. Often, the practitioners start in a um, situation where the theories or their practice do not prepare them. So in this situation, Sean's reflective model is coming in handy where the practitioners can rely on their, the practical experience, which means the tacit knowledge and the intuitive knowledge, and then use the reflection in action to solve the problem. Okay, now back to Mott's book again, Mott quote. Reflection tends to focus interactively on the outcomes of the action. So an action itself is the and the intuitive knowing implicit in the action. 
okay understand all right not only the professional they should adopt most model of learning which i think is very reasonable professionals should constantly become researchers of their own practice in my opinion regularly updating one's professional practice in a specific view is beneficial to the professionals to the societies and the coming future okay for awesome advices and suggestions please put me through by leaving your message in the comment below today i thank you for your tuning in and thank you for listening and please do subscribe and continue to like my video thank you very much and uh, until now until next time stay safe and goodbye